Glass engraving is a form of decorative glasswork that involves engraving a glass surface or object. It is distinct from glass art in the narrow sense which refers to molding and blowing glass. It encompasses a variety of techniques. One notable form is intaglio work with images and inscriptions cut into the surface of the glass through abrasion. This is just a technical definition of what glass engraving is, but for Edwin, a glass engraver gives it a deeper explanation. Well, it's a different type of art because um, both local and internationally, it is um, a, a type of art that is appreciated by uh, local people and also international people, as I mentioned earlier on. And uh, the good thing about it is that transforming a glass, a plain glass, to a decorated, uh, beautiful uh, glass with images, that makes it totally a uh, unique art of work. Edwin Kualanda is one among the few glass engravers in East and Central Africa. He was fascinated by art from an early age. When I was a young boy, I used to get so much fascinated with my, my classmate drawing images on paper. And uh, I said to myself, how can I be like them? And so um, I, I used to uh, take uh, some time just with plain papers and pencil coming up with sketches. So when I went to the upper level, that is in secondary school, that's when I realized the potential in that. After finishing his high school, he wanted to do art professionally, but his dad could not hear any of that and wanted him to do teaching. Looking back now, he knows better. But when I think about my dad, okay, um, he was not very keen about my, my talent as an artist. He did notice it initially. In fact, he wanted me to become a teacher, like uh, uh, I was being taught in school, and, but that was not my passion. So uh, when they only came to realize that uh, art is what I need, to, what I want to do, when I pursued it, at the Polytechnic University and also when I realize it um, whenever, whenever I'm free at home that's what I used to do that's when they realize oh this person has a different direction from what I did what. in his artistic career he had never thought of glass art one day he met with the founder of current glass gallery and after he went glass he has not come back uh, somebody just approached me and asked me, uh, why can't you try glass engraving? It was, I'd never thought about glass engraving in my life. But now when I visited the studio, at that time it used to be at the Lenana Forest Center, I was so amazed by what I saw the artist doing. And I said, now let me give it a shot. So initially it was totally very, very difficult because thinking of using a machine instead of a paintbrush was a challenge to me. I was so much used to uh, paint uh, the paintbrushes, but now I have a tool and beads, diamond beads, to to transfer the images I used to paint on canvas to glass. It was unthinkable. But as I went through the training, that's where my passion and my my love for art went to. It's not often that we get to experience something completely different from what we perceive as the norm, whether it's exotic or indigenous. Its ability to amuse, astound or amaze makes it all more inviting. Edwin blends sculpting and painting skills. Walk into his garage that has been turned into a studio, you can't help thinking you are in Wonderland. His neatly arranged studio is equipped with a micro motor machine that helps in etching the desired images or print on the glass. This includes portraits, animals and logos. His greatest inspiration is nature. Uh, I love nature. Nature is my inspiration. And also the lessons we learn from uh, nature 
uh, gives me a lot of motivation to really give a story of each uh, a, a piece of uh, work I do. Um, when when you look at even a small creature like an ant, mm -hmm. the way it's able to collect its food and put it in store throughout the year, what lessons do we get from that? Yeah, that we need to work hard to sustain ourselves. Yeah, and so when you look at what God has created, and you incorporate that to uh, what you do, like my artwork. There's a lot of inspiration I get from it. So nature, basically nature, mm -hmm. inspires me a lot. To him, every piece has a theme and a message that goes with it. What comes into your mind when you see a chameleon? A fish jumping out of water or an elephant looking for green leaves on a treetop? According to Edwin, with every piece he experiences different emotional attachment and even terms it as spiritual. It's, it's like a spiritual connection. Because as you start from the word from the scratch, from the outline, then I go to the first stage that is what we call the intaglio. Then you put the details. Each stage has its own emotion. The first and the most difficult uh, this, the, the most difficult stage is the second one. After putting the outline, now you start doing the intaglio. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you know, getting a land that is full of weeds and um, unwanted um, plants. You want to get rid of that, so you want to get rid of the glass, mm -hmm. yeah, to give it that form of let's say uh, a leopard, to give it the form of the legs, the muscles, the body. All that you know you have to really dig then after that you get to the other stage and that is the detailed part and then polishing now see each stage has its emotion when you start it is really difficult but the end result I'm telling you that connection you have with the artwork is just too emotional Edwin, like his colleagues in the visual arts industry feels that a lot is yet to be done to expand the market but he further states that, apart from what other bodies can do for them, the artists too have a big role to play. They really need to do more because um, uh, artists get discouraged when nothing is, done, is being done uh, concerning their careers, concerning uh, their skills. But the only way that even artists can do is we don't want just to complain. We can even visit the offices of, of the Ministry of Culture and tell them, hey, we have uh, this uh, group of artists who need to uh, be um, advertised or just to create that awareness that they exist and this is what they do and uh, through the media and also through the, uh, the um, uh, many other, uh, other avenues that can uh, create that awareness will make it easier. Being in the field for some time now, Edwin is a fountain of art wisdom. Art can sustain us, art is life, and art is motivation because when I say motivation is that anything that I put on glass, anything that I do, anything that I paint is something that I've thought beforehand, before I translate it on, on, on the surface. Yes, those who are artists outside there, what I can tell you is that you can make it in life if you're determined and if you're passionate with what you do. If you had not considered glass engraving as an art, now you know it is, and it is amazing. As part of the creative economy, glass engraving helps us appreciate the broad spectrum that we can explore when it comes to the visual arts as evidenced by Edwin's art pieces. And for anyone who would like to have a try at this, there is not much competition as there are only 40 or so engravers in East Africa. Marit Salvin, GBS.